welcome to this rather special video, a bit of a departure from the norm for me. A few days ago marked my first experience of models not of British Outline, with the arrival of a very good condition Roco 43716 DRG E94 number 006 from eBay. The model is a DRG 1999 production, catalogue number 43716, made by the Austrian model makers Roco. It's in HO scale and presented in blue-grey livery. It needed a service but was in near perfect condition. The body comes off quite easily using cut-up uh, credit cards to prise it off, very gently of course. And inside we have a very heavy lump of metal. The little spring contact you can see there is for the pantograft if you wanted to use that. Uh, once you take the middle off you can get the front ends off again by prising off. And this exposes the drive chain and the bulb located under that little bit of copper. Once you pop off the lid you can easily get access to the worm and gears. Beautifully made, absolutely beautifully put together this machine. And the heart of it is this really massive double flywheel motor. It's a right old chunk of a motor. The gear chains on the bogies are absolutely exquisitely done. The bearings are absolutely perfect and they all fit. There's no sign of any flash or mess that you might have expected on British stuff. A wonderful machine, a little bit of lubrication, put it back together and she runs really beautifully. The DRG Class E94 was an electric heavy freight locomotive built from 1940 to 1957 in Germany. A total of 200 locomotives were constructed for Deutsche Reichsbahngesellschaft but we shall say DRG from now on. Some 140 were built during the early years of World War II in Germany and Austria. They were known as crocodiles because of their resemblance to the Swiss crocodile. They were developed by AEG and were a real success story. It was a powerful, reliable and rugged machine. With its unique and articulated nose, good turn of speed and power, it's no wonder they lasted all the way through until about 1992. There are some excellent videos on YouTube and I'll put the links in the information box to this video so you can go and have a look, listen and see how they were driven. Quite unique, almost like a ship's wheel. The model has as much grunt as the real thing and is able to pull very long trains indeed. As if it needed it, it's even got traction tyres on the middle axles. But there's more than enough power, I would have thought, without it, because it's a very heavy machine as well. 